Hey everybody, Ave here. Gameplay guide number four, some advanced support tips. I've got a list so you'll see me reading off the paper and the first five minutes of this video are worth watching for the information that I'm going to give you but then after that there's some com commentary on games which you are more than welcome to watch which explains each of the things that I've said that you should improve on as uh, support. If you check out the description there is a link of times to different parts of the video that you might find relevant in watching check that out. All I'm going to say is you will probably climb a lot of elo because you will make it a 2v1 lane at bot lane, okay? So basically when you go to bot lane, you, you just need to be a very calm player, you need to position perfectly, you need to tell your AD everything regarding when their jungle is ganking, when your jungle is ganking, keeping timers and some of the other things that I'm going to go through can actually get your AD carry ahead in CS by a big margin. So the first thing I'm going to say is zoning. Now I'm, I'm not trying to get you to kill yourself here but what I'm saying is go in and hit their AD carry. Be in the lane. Have presence. Make sure that their AD carry feels threatened by you. Another reason that you pink the lane on the closest bush to your turret is because if you're harassing with a range support you get minion aggro and then you need to run back into that bush to get rid of that and stop taking damage. I run health regen runes if you check out the rune guide and it helps me tank golems at the start of a game things like that. Um, the next thing you want to do is ward. You want to know where to ward and when. If they've got a Lee Sin who starts red and he hasn't ganked top at level 2 and he's three minutes into the game he's probably just about to kill this blue he's gonna gank mid or bot so if they're playing against Lee who starts red who doesn't gank top put a ward in the river at say 250 learn the jungle routes learn when to ward, ward. if you're on the other side um, so you're on the side where the blue is closest to you um, you want to place a ward in the tri bush at three minutes if they start on a blue route and if they start there, they're going to kill their red at three minutes and then gank bot, okay? Think about where to ward and when. Very important. Next thing is um, jungle buffs. You know that they die. If you, you, if you know the jungle routes, you should know roughly when the buffs die. And then add five minutes onto that and they will respawn. For example, blue. You have a jungler on the enemy team doing a blue route. Two minutes, seven minutes, twelve minutes, give or take a minute. So, you know, thirteen minutes, eighteen minutes. Roughly around these times is early game and their blue will respawn. If you can ward it and you can tell your AD and your jungler when it's going to spawn, you can get blue buffs for your team. Smart guys, be calm, know where their jungler is, okay? Next thing is map awareness, a massive thing, telling your AD carry where the wards are, telling your jungler where the wards are on the enemy team so you can, like they can gank, um, telling your AD carry when you back, you need to back at the same time. And you need to tell them when a gang's coming as well. When an, an ally is ganking or an enemy is ganking. So you, he can position appropriately for that. Um, next thing is shepherding minions. Now what does that mean? It means that when your AD carries out of lane, for example he could die, you tank the minions away from the tower and take damage, but the AD carry gets to come back and eat all those minions. If you check out the commentary, there's some really good examples of that. Um, for, again, having presence, that's something that I said before. Be in the lane. If you get ahead, stay ahead. If you can zone, zone. If you can, I mean, check out. If you stay for the commentary, you'll see the positioning that I'm that I'm doing, and it makes that AD carry miss two to three minions every wave. That's such a substantial amount of minions on a first back. It's like an extra, you know, 15 minions lost on five waves. It's huge. So you're losing two waves. Um, my biggest tip for this is being familiar with the game, knowing the matchups at bot lane, for example if you're against a Blitzcrank, a Tarek or an Alistair and they have their pull, stun, knock up and whatever else, you don't really want to be going into range of those if it means that you have to stop their AD carry getting a last hit because the risk is greater than the benefit. Then the final thing is that, um, this is probably the most important part is when you're in lane, when you have a melee support. Tarek, Alistair, Blitzcrank, you have three ability, like all of these characters have an ability which is CC. Need to position yourself to scare the AD carry that you're going to stun him, knock him up, pull him, but you don't actually do it. And by doing this thing, by scaring him, you'll force him away from his minions and he'll lose minions in the waves. Check out the commentary, uh, there's a Sejuani game, you'll see it. Next when you're playing ranged, Sona, Lulu, 
Janna, whoever, you can auto attack them. You will get minion aggro, run into the bush, lose it. But auto attack so much, run back and forward at them and scare them. But anyway, that's it. Um, um, I hope the commentary's helped a little bit, but the first five minutes are probably more useful. Um, just to see an example might help some people. A lot of people are asking what to do early in mid game. If you still have any questions, leave them in a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them with lots of information. Um, it's hard to cover everything. So that's all guys, I hope it's helped and if it has, be sure to subscribe and tell your friends. See ya.